Hello there and welcome to Linux S2. As you know, Linux is growing day by day and people are moving from Windows and Mac to Linux. And when they move, they often get confused about the applications that are available to Linux. Which is why in this video, I will be showing some of the must-have essential applications for Linux. As most of us spend most of the time on the browser, that is why I'm starting with the browser. On Linux, there are all kind of browsers available. So you may like Chrome. So this is a variant of Chrome. Uh, this is Chromium. So you can install Chrome in your Linux system or you may like Firefox which comes by default on Linux you can go with the Firefox as well or you may like uh, Opera then you can also install Opera or Vivaldi that is very less known browser but it has some very cool features or there are some additional options also available for Linux for example this Midori browser so it's a very lightweight browser so if you don't have a much hardware power in your system then you can go with this by simple minimalistic browser so these are the browsers that are available to Linux. Moving on to the music player because we all love to listen to music. So for music players, we have uh, rhythm box. So I'm using Ubuntu and Ubuntu com comes with a rhythm box by default. So you can install rhythm box in any Linux distribution. It doesn't matter. And uh, you can play your music here. Other than rhythm box, there is Bunsy also a music player. And you can also install Google Play Music on Linux. And if you like to stream music online, then you have the option for Spotify. You can install Spotify also and stream your music directly from the cloud. After the music, now let's talk about video players so as we know blc is the most popular media player so you get blc on linux and there is one more player that is sm player so you can install sm player as well sm player and blc both supports all kind of video formats and codecs so you will not face any problem playing any kind of video Moving to the next, let's talk about torrent client. So for torrent clients, we have Deluse. Deluse is one of the best torrent client is available and you can install it on, on, on any platform. But uh, as we are talking about Linux, so you can install Deluse on Linux. And there are other options also available. For example, a transmission is there, an application and QTorrent is also there. So you can install transmission and QTorrent from the software center that you get. Or you can simply type the installation command in the terminal and you can install it from there and if you don't know how to install any application on your linux distro then i have a video on that that shows how to install all kinds of application on any linux distribution out there so you can check that video i will link in the description there is one more torrent client that is bab torrent so this torrent client allows you to stream videos also so you can add a video file here and you can directly hit the play button and the video will start to play. And this also work as, works as a torrent client so you can download all kinds of torrent. Moving to the next, we have note taking application. So for Linux, there is an application called uh, simple note so you can install simple note on your linux it's a cloud based note taking application so it synchronizes with all the devices that you have. If you are a developer, then you can also use Melody Text. So Melody Text is a code note taking application, but you can also use it as a regular note taking application. So this is also there. You can install it. Next in the list is terminal program. By default, every Linux distribution comes with a terminal program. But if you don't like that terminal, then you can install Telix. Telix is a very good terminal. It allows you to do this also. So you can run two terminal sessions at the same time. You can also do this. So if you want to run multiple terminals, you can do that with Telix. So you can install Telix as well. Next in the list is uh, download manager. So on Linux, there is a download manager called FlareGate. So you can install this FlareGate and integrate it with all the browsers, all the popular browsers, for example, Chrome and Firefox, and it will start to download directly from the browsers as well. So this is complete a rip up of IDM that you have on Windows. So it's pretty much same with similar functionalities, even better in some cases. So you can install this download manager and uh, there is one more also by the name you get so you can install you get also now let's talk about cloud sync because we are living in the era where we have to synchronize the data with the cloud so for that uh, you have mega that you can install in your system so i have mega installed in my computer to synchronize the data here and i have also installed dropbox to synchronize the data so you can go to the official websites and download the client for linux and install it and start using it so here i have configured dropbox and mega you can also do the same thing with google drive if you want so that option also available 
Next we have email client. So for email there are so many clients available. By default it comes with uh, Thunderbolt. So we have uh, Thunderbolt here, the email client. So you can use this client. This is developed by Mozilla I guess. And uh, you can also use some other clients. For example there is Kmail. This one. Here you can install this email client or you can also use this Geary, this email client all depends on your preference which one you prefer and you can install and synchronize your emails directly to the application next we have the office suite so on linux the libreoffice is very popular so you can use libreoffice and you can directly install it from the software center and libreoffice is there then there is wps office is also available wps office is kind of very similar to microsoft office so if you like that then you can install that also just try these office suits and if you prefer any one of these then start using that then we have the system cleaner so for cleaning we have two applications so one is bleach bit that you can use so this is like the cc cleaner that you have on windows so you can just hit the preview button and uh, it will show what kind of data that can be cleaned and you can simply hit the clean button and it will clean that data similar to the system cleaner we have system monitor by default the system monitor that you get on linux is this one so this is pretty basic so you can use this one or you can install stasher so stasher is a third party application so it looks amazing so you can install this stasher and it also have so many other features also available and if you want to know more about this then check out the video given in the description and on the top right card and uh, watch that video to get the whole information about this application so you can install this one now let's talk about messaging we are living in the era of online connectivity and we like to talk to people using the messengers so you can use messengers for example whatsapp has a web based facility or telegram also so you can use that or if you prefer to have a proper application then you can go with uh, skype skype is available on linux so you can install skype and you can also install telegram telegram is also available on linux so you can download the telegram from the official website and install it on your computer you can also install discord and if you have to talk to your colleagues and you want to have a slack then the slack is also available on linux so you can install slack as well so that was about communication now let's talk about uh, reading so we like to read right so if you are a reader then you must have to have the ebook reader so for that you have calibre so you can install calibre in your computer it can read all kinds of ebooks so it supports all the extensions like epub and amazon and movie even pdf also so you can install this calibre application directly from the software center to read the books and for news and updates you can install feed reader so it also offers a facility to sync with online services that you may probably using so you can connect it with feedly so you can synchronize your your previous rss with the linux desktop as well or you if you want to synchronize locally local rs then you can do that as well so feed reader is there also now let's connect our smartphone to the linux system so if you are using an android device then you can install kde connect so you can connect your android device here and you can send files receive notifications about any messages or any call you can also send messages from here from your system it's very convenient to have this kde connect to synchronize your mobile phone to the computer now let's talk about the gaming so for gaming you can install steam in your computer so steam is there so you can download this steam from the official website and play your favorite games from there and uh, there are some default uh, games also for linux so these are the games that you have you can install these are all kind of retro games so you may not like these a lot that is why steam is there so you can play all kind of games using this steam then we have uh, a virtual box so you can also install VirtualBox in the system. So if you want to try out any new distribution, simply run on the virtual machine and check that out before installing it on your system. So that is also very helpful. So these were the basic applications that you require in order to survive the real world, right? And next we have some profession specific applications. For example, if you are a developer who like to code and program, then you can install the code editor. For example, Atom is there 
you can use Zenny or Visual Studio Code. You can use it. You can use Sublime Text, and you can also use like uh, Android Studio if you like to develop for Android or IntelliJ IDE. So you can install all kind all the IDEs that JetBrains offers. So the development is not an issue on Linux. Then we have uh, the designing sites. So you may like to edit images or design some vectors then you can use ink escape to design your vectors or to manipulate the images you can use gimp for that purpose so gimp is also available and if you like to do some anime stuff then you can use krita krita is also available on linux so krita is here this is the krita that you can use to design the enemies so designing is also not an issue and if you like to do some 3d stuff then you can use blender now let's talk about editing so for audio editing you have the audacity so you can use audacity to edit your audio files and there are some other applications also available but the most popular one is this so you can use audacity to edit your audios and for video editing we have the kden live so it is one of the best video editor it's a non-linear video editor so you can use this if you if you want to have a very simple editor then you can use open sort so open sort is also available on linux so you can install open sort and do the editings on that so here is the open source video editor it's very basic it's like movie maker in windows but it's better than movie maker because they have updated the application so you can use the video editors there are so many different video editors also available but these ones are the most popular next let's talk about recording the screen so for the recording and streaming yourself or the gameplay you can use obs so obs is available on linux for the streaming and for desktop recording or for general recording from your camera you can use obs or if you want to record the desktop then you can also use a simple screen recorder the one that i'm using right now so you can use that one also these recorders comes with so many features so you can use those features as well so these were the applications that i wanted to talk about and recommend to people who are just coming to linux or just need a realization about the applications so that they can use on linux and I hope you find this video helpful and if you did then let me know in the comment section below and if you think I missed on any application then let me know in the comment section and I'll try to add it in, in the description of the video. Until then take care and keep enjoying Linux.